Farriery has undergone tremendous change over the past century, certainly within the past two decades. And as a response, the Royal Veterinary College in London has created a program, a graduate diploma in equine locomotor research. Initially kicked off in the United Kingdom, now the program has been brought to the United States. And that initial American cohort slated for graduation in June 2020. Dr. Renate Weller from um, the Royal Veterinary College and Dr. Tilo Fow. Uh, Dr. Weller has always felt she's been very interested in podiatry, very interested in what if anything happens with the hoof as we make adjustments. You know, she looked at the science that's presently out there, the papers that have been written, the studies that have been done. The majority, the overwhelming majority, A, deal with laminitis, and B, are done by veterinarians, not by farriers who are practicing out in the field. And her feeling is, is that we need to take the art and also the science and bring it together, but put more emphasis on the science and really uh, get to a place where there is evidence-based farriery where there are studies done looking at the problems that the horses face and what, if anything, can be done, repeatable, repeatable things that can be done that can improve upon the conditions. The science and learning some of the things related to the horse and the horse's movement and what, if anything, as we make changes affect the horse it's been a tremendous, tremendous tool. And I think for anybody serious about the business, serious about going forward and really challenging themselves and challenging their skill, this would be a great tool to have. I started apprenticing, wanting to know everything that I could about horses and using my brawn, I got into shoeing. And uh, one thing led to another, and I had the good fortune to work for some of the top, top people in the industry and gave me some great opportunities to travel this country and travel internationally. So it's been a gift. It's been a real gift to be a part of uh, the horse community. It's the old adage in any of the disciplines, you know, no foot, no horse. You want somebody that has as much experience and as many tools in their bag shoeing your horse because as many of these people here in Wellington will tell you, they need to be able to compete uh, after that horse is shod and they can't have any downtime. Shoeing is one of those things that we do that can uh, negatively but very positively affect a horse. 